Well, the Ice Man there, after he put something on a rag. That smelled like Billy James's cologne. I don't know what it was, but he certainly got the win. You can smell it all around the uh, arena right here. Well, coming up on the Global Wrestling Federation, the Super Studs, the new team, Rod Price and Nick Golden, take on High Voltage, AC and DC, Bo Vegas, and Devin Michaels when we return with more great Global Wrestling Federation action. Plus, a main event, Ice Man King Parsons against the promoter of the GWF, Ray Pearson. Super stud of them all, Brandon Baxter, who's over in the left-hand corner, upper left-hand corner of your screen, standing on that rope. Oh, thank you for making me do that interview. Ag aggravating those, those fans. <laughs> I still say he looks like the before picture for a bodybuilding well, I'll tell you who better be ready, and that's the super studs when these guys hit the ring. Their opponents tonight from Dallas, Texas. to talk to the combatants about this bout that they have. Let's go to that right now. The Super Studs, manager Brandon Baxter with Glamour Boy Nick Golden and Rod, and Rod the Bond Price. And Brandon Baxter, I think you better be taking High Voltage a little bit more seriously than this. Oh, man. You should see these women, but High Voltage, one of you is merely a 40-watt bulb, and the other one's a dead fuse. Tonight, the Super Studs are going to unplug you. Super Studs? Compared to what? Force Gump, Super Duds, yeah, we're ready for you in the rain, baby. We know you're good, but we're ready. The only thing I'm worried about is your ego's exploding and hurting someone. All right, the combatants have had their P's and Q's all spelled out. And by the way, Brandon Baxter said he missed you doing that interview. He was hoping you were going to do the interview. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure he, he did. I'm sure he did. I think he likes you. I hope not. I, I don't have friends like him I can do without, you know. Looks like Devin Michael is going to begin this bout. And Rod Price with a little uh, shove on the referee. And referee right back there in his face. That's James Franklin Beard officiating this bout. James Beard, who has claimed that he will no longer referee any of Iceman King Parsons' matches. As a matter of fact, James pulled his shirt off last week. He was ready to fight the Iceman. And the deal is the crowd here wanted to see it. Well, everybody seems to want to... What's Price got there? What was that? He just tucked in his tights. Uh, I'll bet it was a chain. It looks like he's got a chain behind his back there that passed to him by Brandon Baxter. What'd you say, Ken? Our director said, what was that? Definitely something it was silver. a chain. He said, probably a chain. No, I said it was a chain. Well, so did he. Well, he said it was silver. I said it was a chain. We'll, no, we'll keep a camera Brandon over there Brandon Baxter watching. just got an early start on this. The bell just barely rung, and he's already passing objects up into the ring. Boy, what a great match this is going to be, and we're going to see one for sure great match, and then one match that's, if it's not going to be a great match, it's at least going to be an important match. Do you, do you think that uh, after Gray Pearson gets beat by the Iceman that uh, we'll be allowed to call the main event? I hadn't thought about that. <laughs> I, I, you know, do you think he has our replacements waiting in the wings? Now I know what Brad Sham and Dale Hansen are going through. Oh, yeah, no kidding with Jerry Jones. Yeah. Well, you know, Dale doesn't have too much to worry about. Brad got fired from the TV show, but Dale just signed a new six-year contract through the year 2000 with Channel 8. See, I mean, you gotta, you have to watch what you say on these broadcasts, Doyle. I'm He's telling you. Thinking ahead. Maybe I'll go back to calling the Iceman the Blackbird. The original. The I one. That would be a good one idea. Be, I, no, I can't suck up like you do, Mark. Suck up. Broadcast jobs are hard to find. And Iceman King Parsons is gonna kick Greg Pearson's butt. I heard that. I, I'm glad I've still got my radio gig, you know. Yeah. I mean... Dole King, it takes Ray Pearson 10 minutes to get a top off a beer bottle. I heard you say that. I mean, he may be a great attorney, but he's not a tough guy. What's this? Here he goes, AC. Atomic drop, and Nick Golden says it's time to tag. Well, we've seen both these. We're going to take a quick break right now. Our director says we'll be right back. You won't miss a bit of the action. We're back. Rob Price just stepped in the ring. You haven't missed a single solitary hold on the Global Wrestling Federation. Tag team action between the Super Studs, that's Price and Golden, and High Voltage, that's AC and DC, 
Devin, and Bo. And I, Bo's in the ring right now against Price. I think it's a little bit harder to manage a tag team than it is to manage a single wrestler. And we're going to find out if Brandon Baxter can actually manage, if oh, he I, can put together a cohesive unit. I think it, it gives you even more advantage when you have uh, two men in the ring. You have someone else. Oh, Price came mm. in hard. Yeah, but that's uh, one more man you've got to coordinate. That's true, it's but it's tougher. One, I don't it's, think it's easier. It's one more man that you have, well, at least on the bad guy's side, you know, to distract the referee, to hold his attention while you go and do the dirty work. Yeah, but that's I mean, a that, lot harder than it sounds. Well, maybe to you. Oh, you know, I'm going to fire you. Hey, I'm fired anyway, so who cares, you know? I mean, I don't care. But He's I a do. former Blackbird. He lost the title of Blackbird in that cage match to Action Jackson. I don't care, okay? Well, I, I hope you get to stay I hope Gray Pearson has something up his sleeve, man, and he comes and just beats Iceman to a bloody nub. Yeah, I know what he's got is up his sleeve. It's, I mean, Gray Pearson. Price outside the ring and inside Nick Golden. Doing it to Bo Vegas. Devin Michaels is not doing his partner any favor. Looks like I know Brandon. it's hard. I know it's hard when you see your partner getting double teamed like this to stay in the corner. Looks like Brandon Baxter has everything pretty much going his way, and he's doing quite a job over there. Of course, he's having a lot of help from Devin Michael. Well, it's kind of like the Cowboys with Emmett Smith. When you've got a team with Rod Price, you know, as part of it, I mean, you're automatically a good team. Know what I mean, Doyle? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Oh my, he's 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 coughing up blood. Oh, gee, he just, oh, my, something's definitely wrong. Go Something on. is, is something's bad wrong, Mark. Oh, and they're going to press that advantage. Rod Price will show no mercy here, I promise. I don't know if he just got a bust. Oh, my, and Price really laid it into him. I don't know if they just, I think maybe they just busted his mouth. Let's hope so. And I'd like to get your prediction on our uh, main event tonight for the GWF title, gentlemen Chris Adams versus Jimmy Jam Garvin. Boy, I tell you, oh, double clothesline right there. I'll get back to that in a minute, Mark, but Price coming down hard with the double clothesline. Can he get to the tag? I yes, he does. Here comes Devin Michaels. Devin Michaels taking on both Nick Golden and Rod Price, trying to keep both men separated where they can't double team him. The question is, how long is he going to be able to maintain this momentum against two wrestlers? Oh, what a shot. Partially blocked there. And Devin Michaels continues in on... Oh, oh, he just got him with that stun gun. That's what he had slipped into his tights. He had that stun gun, and he just laid it into Devin Michael. There's the three count. Nick Golden comes away with the victory. The victory. Your winners and future tag team champions, the Superstars. Hey, Brandon Baxter, while I've got you right down here, what was that? Well, I guess Baxter's not gonna gonna talk to me. I wouldn't either. We have much more to come. You asked about my prediction on yes. the uh, heavyweight championship. Yeah. I think I've got to go with Chris Adams. I would go with Chris Adams just because he's the champion. And in the case of an even match like this, I think the champion always has to get a little bit of a favorite role. So we're agreed. Chris Adams is going to come out the victor in that this match. This is unusual. Mark the tape. We yeah. agree. Hey, Iceman King Parsons against the president of North Star Promotions in this, this handicap match.